The Visit Smart Home system from Bellman and Symphon is ready to use out of the box. The transmitters and receivers are already set to the same default radio key, paired, and connected to work together as the same system. Typically, you will not need to make changes to the radio key. However, there are some situations where it may be beneficial. If you are utilizing several systems at the same time in your home, or if your system is triggered for no reason, which can be caused by radio interference from a neighboring system, you may need to change the radio key setting. Let's use the alarm clock receiver and the door transmitter as an example to show you how to change the radio key. Step 1. Open the battery cover on your transmitter. This is how you open the battery cover on the door transmitter. And here is the 6-digit radio key switch. If you have a baby monitor or telephone transmitter, you can open their battery covers the same way. And here are the six-digit radio key switches. If you have a push-button transmitter, you can use a small flathead screwdriver to slightly pop up the four corners to open the cover. And here is the six-digit radio key switch. If you have a smoke or carbon monoxide transmitter, turn the bottom cover counterclockwise to open it. And here is the six-digit radio key switch. Step 2. Change the six-digit radio key to any combination. As you can see, the default setting of the six-digit radio key is set to the zero position. We can use a small screwdriver or anything else small to move the key to any combination. Step 3. Press the test button on your receiver. Press and hold the test button on the receiver until the green and yellow LEDs switch alternately. If you have other receivers, here is a demonstration of this step. Step 4. Press the test button on your transmitter. Press the test button on the transmitter. A green LED will light up to indicate a new radio key is sent to the receiver. If you have other transmitters, here is a demonstration of the step. Step 5. A new radio key is set and paired successfully. The four LEDs on the receiver will cycle through a few times, which indicates the radio key has been changed and the pairing is successful. This is how it looks like if you have other receivers. Let's do a quick review. Open the battery cover. Change the radio key to any combination you like. Hold the test button on the receiver until the green and yellow LEDs alternately switch. Press the test button on the transmitter. Then the four LEDs on the receiver will cycle through a few times, which indicates the radio key is successfully changed. Please note that only the products with the same radio key setting will work together as a system. If you have more than one transmitter and receiver in your system, then you need to change the radio key for all other transmitters and receivers as well. For additional transmitters, change to the same radio key as step 2. For additional receivers, follow steps 3 through 5. As an optional feature, the smoke alarm and carbon monoxide alarm can be set to a broadcasting radio key of 110010 to signal all the visit receivers no matter what radio key is used in your system, as long as they are in the transmission range. And that is how to change the radio key.